Hey, what's up guys? The Jordan here back again with another Shadowverse video. You guys liked the reanimate shadow that I posted last week, so here's some more gameplay with the deck. Uh, made a few changes as you could probably tell. The deck is more of a mid-range deck now rather than being super committed on reanimating Zeus all the time. So we have like things like Skull Ring and Prince of Catacombs um, and Demon Lord Ector. I found that Ector was like just too good not to play, in, especially in rotation. So jammed Ector in there, jammed some skeletons so that you could get your Ectors more easily um, proccing. And then um, you still have your power turns to reanimate Zeus, such as turn 7 when you go for Eternal Potion or your turn 8 Dragon Caller. So yeah, this is the deck guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you do. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification so you know when new videos are up. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. As always guys, I appreciate the support and thank you so much for watching my video. Mm, Dragon Craft. Okay, Dragon's like not that bad of a matchup for us. We could go Belenus into Pihar Singer. Um, it's a pretty decent curve. Pick up a Zeus too, so that's good. Now we just have to get our Burial Rate cards, which we should be able to find. We have six in our deck, so. If we could get the dream of getting Zeus's out on turn 7, turn 8, then we should be able to just overpower the dragon. Mm. Before that though, our curve is looking pretty good because we're going to go Singer into Catacombs. So if he doesn't play, like if the dragon player just tries to like ramp up or something, then um, our board could get pretty annoying for him. I could take this value trade here. Um, see what we draw first. Like, I'm not too inclined to take a value trade because if he plays like a spell to kill the Bellinus, the ping hits the dragon summoner, I could still trade with the singer. So, let's just go face here. Face damage is relevant because we want to like just... Once we get to the point where we're playing Zeus every turn and just storming for 5, the little bit of chip damage could make a difference between a turn or not. Turn 4 is looking like a good Catacombs turn. We also got the Gloomy Necromancer now, so our Zeus... We will be able to get our Zeus set up for turn 8 Dragon Caller. Just depends how we want to order our turns. We, like, we could go with Gloomy on 5. I think the Prince of Catacombs here is just really good not to play. And then, because he played a 2-2, I should take the value trait on his Dragon Summoner now. Also because the Dragon Summoner could deal with my Skeletons quite easily, which is kind of annoying. You could deal with like two Skeletons. Ping hitting the, the Isla is pretty nice. Evolving and Jolfia seems Seems very uh, attractive. Do we gloomy first? No, we should end Jelfius first so we can give gloomy the effect. I usually, whenever I play Shadow, I really like involving Jelfius just so I can keep my, make sure my hand is just like always going to have fuel. Um, I need to take the trade first so my. Burial rate actually activates. <laughs> Building up shadows for our Ectors. Our Ectors going to be good. Um, we got Zeus on turn 8. So yeah, things are going really good. He did set up my board so it kind of looked like he has kind of some kind of AOE to like deal with my board. But, looks like he just has a symbol here. Because he popped all my last words, it looked like he really wanted to. Oh, Seredwin's really nice. Um, because now I can get the Eternal Potions and play Zeus on turn 7 now. Um, I can use the Evo here, just to keep my board presence. I don't mind that. Or I could just trade everything in, but then I miss out on 4 damage. And like, I also have an opportunity. A chance to just kill him maybe with Ector next turn? I don't know. Eternal Potion here. 
I think we could use our last evo. It might like evolving the Serenwind might draw out his last evo point as well. But yeah, maybe it's a nectar turn next turn, but it's most likely going to be Bellinus Eternal Potion. So this is going to be a pretty weak turn for him. He might not even use the evil here. Oh, okay, he is. So that's good for me. He's using less evil, just on a singer. I get a uh, Zeus here. It's quite nice because um, Frenzy Drake. I guess it, I should. I could have traded both to play around Frenzy Drake because he could trade us in. He draws a card, plays Frenzy Drake, clears everything. But Scyther is more likely for. I guess it's about equal likely for him to have. So if they're both equal chance that he's going to have a clear from my Zeus, I might as well just go for the two damage. Oh, this is interesting. He's playing, <laughs> playing the drain. Uh, lots of options here. We could go, if we go Ector this turn, we push 6, put him to 1. Or we could just play now Zeus. Zombie Party puts him to 5. Zombie Party might actually be the best option here. I mean, putting him to 1 is also good. Um. Hmm. It's just that either, whatever I do, I feel like he's just going to have to respond to the board and then he's just dead to the Zeus the following turn. So I think like every option is fine, it's just like which one I want to take. Um, go for the zombie party because if I play Ector, he somehow could deal with it. I lose, lose all my shadows for my Aisha. But it really doesn't matter because I have Zeus on 10 as well. But yeah, Zombie Party is like the least effective against Dragon. So, since it was good that turn, I guess it was the best option. Kind of debatable, but really doesn't matter because I'm so far ahead. Uh, rune. We want to keep this. Is either going to be like a dirt rune or a ginger rune? I don't know about keeping singer. I think I could throw away because I'm going first. Try find like a two drop. Okay, we pick up a bellinus. It's like this hand's pretty good, I guess. Uh. Okay, so it's going to be like a Chimera rune. Uh, Chimera rune. Could be kind of hard for us. We can't get pressure. But if we get like a good Catacombs turn, we could just like kill him off Ector or something. This is may work. It's just that they could deal with this quite easily with like charged up Wind Blasts or Fiery Embraces. Drawing the... And Drellfist is really good there because if I didn't draw a follower play, probably would have just lost all my pressure. Because if he's not dealing with a threat this turn, then I could go Catacombs. Hmm. Catacombs is still to play though. Ah, uh, drawing zombie parties in this matchup, like, it really sucks because it doesn't do anything. I guess he could, I guess he evolves like the owl and then we could zombie party it. They're not great. Or we can't even zombie party the, the Rooney. Unless we double zombie party. Cause us to throw Aisha in there, but I might want Aisha as a finisher. 
Jesus. Ah. Really isn't great. <laughs> Guess we toss out an Aisha. Kid evolve for damage on my catacombs. I don't think we get there though. If we evolve our catacombs, we don't have follow up damage. Might have to go for. Like, waiting on these zombie parts to turn 7 is just so bad because it's not really doing much against um, Chimera Rune. Probably my best draw would be a Strix next turn. A Strix into a. Or a Pure Heart Singer into a Strix. Just something fell up my curve. Balanus. Yeah, I think I have to evolve this catacombs now. If next turn we have the zombie party, we could just try to set up for like a turn 10 Zeus to kill him or turn 10 Aisha. If I get enough shadows and then I get Aisha on 10, that's more damage than the Zeus, I guess. I should have a target the zombie party next turn. I got the missiles. Pretty good for. Her. As long as this has not like chimeras, where he just like floods the board. Alright. Start using the zombie parties until turn 10. If one gets in there, might be good enough. I might just die to the giant chimera though before that happens. I am going first, but if I lose my board and then he could just drop giant chimera, it's just really bad. Come on, all right, the zombie lived. It's relevant. Very relevant. Um, so I could, s could so squash her. No, I, well, if I want to evil, I might as well just zombie party it and evil the zombie. Cause I just need him to be at ten. He played the golem himself for two play points, if I recall correctly. So he should only have one ward. Unless he has Snowman King. Yeah. He went for the wards as well. Uh, Odile is a really good draw here. Hmm. What do we even reanimate? Oh, we get Aisha. Or we just go triple trade zombie party soul squasher. Cause I need my full 10 play points anyway, so I can't fit into the zombie party. Yeah, I think it's zombie party so squasher, just laying up my board again. He might use his entire turn to play giant chimera, right? If he does that, then I can just kill him with the Aisha. What stops me is if he plays um the golem assault here. Is he conceding to the triple zombie party? <laughs> Th three turns in a row, just enhanced zombie party gets him. Oh no, he's back. Okay. Just connection issue. Come on, just play giant chimera. I don't- giant chimera shouldn't kill me, right? Dang, doesn't look like it's happening. Um, if he doesn't have a fire embrace, he's dead. Nice. That's actually a really weak turn for him. Pick up the actor for the... For the alternative lethal.
Ela, 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 ela,